Well, as we go around Indiana this week, we have stories from central Indiana to southern Indiana and beyond. Mary Rachel Redmond is here with the tales. Mary Rachel. Well, Gary, we begin in Hamilton County, where, as they say, out with the old, in with the new. Fisher's current city hall, built in the early 90s, is getting torn down. In its place, a new $23 million three-story city hall and arts complex that will serve as a permanent home for local performers and concerts. Construction is slated to begin this fall, and while Fisher's has emerged as a tech and life sciences hub in central Indiana, Mayor Scott Fadness says including the arts is essential to the lifeblood of his community. It's part of being a dynamic city. There's a lot of conversations these days about cities being um, the dynamism of a city. Is, is it vibrant? Is it moving forward? Is there energy associated with it? That energy attracts companies, attracts creative class people that you want in your community that'll drive the next generation of uh, companies. And so I think it's all part of an overall vision uh, to create a place that really is a destination for the best and brightest. And when they come here, we know their companies will follow. So uh, again, it's just executing on that strategy. It's one more component of uh, creating a smart, vibrant entrepreneurial city here in Fishers. Meantime, in Southwest Indiana, the University of Southern Indiana says it remains on track to go Division I in its intercollegiate athletic programs. USI President Dr. Ronald Roshan says he thinks the move could be a game changer for the university and the region, but adds it's merely just a title. USI has been a Division I campus for a number of years. Now we're just making it official. We have Division I faculty, staff, students and also student athletes. I'm excited about what this is going to do for USI and what it's going to do for this broader community. People are excited about supporting our students for the right reason and we're excited about certain, serving this community also. And two Indiana hotels receiving coveted designations. Bottleworks Hotel in downtown Indianapolis and Purdue University's Union Club Hotel, both given the AAA for Diamond Hotel designation for 2022. Bottleworks Hotel opened in late 2020 as part of the $300 million Bottleworks District. To check out the full list of four Diamond Hotels in Indiana, go to our website at InsideIndianaBusiness.com. Gary.